Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Good Review. I hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode, we are doing a preview of the Front Runner Flip Pop Tent. This is a pop-up tent. It's inexpensive, really good quality, and I have to say that I like this thing a lot based on my usage so far. So to get started, let's just go ahead and take a look at the carrying case. So this is the carrying case that it comes in, and as you can see, this is Front Runner Flip Pop Tent. The measurements are essentially 34 inches wide, and of course that's from point to point. It is a circle after all. When you smash this down, this is roughly about 3 inches wide as well. You have these nylon loops at every single point. North, south, east, west. You also have carrying handle. And this is where you access the tent itself. You have a two-way zipper right here. Unzip that and you're ready to go. Also, my friends, on the back side of this carrying case, you have these two nylon straps. Each has a buckle. And this way you can attach this to your vehicle. You could put it on top, you could put it on the side, whatever you want to do. Numerous ways that you can carry this. You can put it inside of your vehicle, of course. You don't have to use those straps, but they're there if you need them, and that is awesome. Now, we're gonna go ahead and get this bad boy out and set it up for you. With pop-up tents, it really couldn't be easier. We have the tent set up that took literally two seconds. Now we need to stake it out. You do receive a number of different stakes here. As you can see, plenty of these. You have two, four, six, you have eight stakes. So when it comes to the eight stakes, these are good quality, not great quality. If you step on these, they will bend. So use a rock, tap it into the ground, push it with your hand, do not step on them. I'm just staking out the corners. Within seconds, the tent is set up. It's also staked out. I have four additional stakes left over, and that's for the guy lines, which I will show you now, but I won't go through the hassle of setting them up because I don't need them. So looking at the front of the tent, you can see right here, you have one guy line, very long, reflective cordage, nice. On the other side, you have another. Going around to the back, You have two more guy lines, which you could pull tight just in case you're expecting some strong winds. Also, when you pull these out, this opens up this great vent right here. And going back to the front, this is the doorway. And as you can see, you can roll that up, keep it nice and tidy, put it out of the way when you don't need it. Then you have the net mesh and you could do the same. You, you could roll it up and get it out of the way. You do have two-way zippers on the door and on the mesh. Then you come into the tent itself. You have a pocket on this side and you also have another pocket on the other. Up at the top, as you can see there, you have a clip and you have another clip so you can string up anything that you need to maybe you go dry some clothes you can make a makeshift clothesline dry everything out that's awesome this tent is surrounded with tons of ventilation ventilation on the side ventilation in the back and on the side of course all right guys well we're inside of the tent now and i have my tape measure that's because i want to measure this out so i can give you a very accurate measurement of the inside space of this tent. That way, if you're a tall individual, you can decide if this will work for you. Now, I'm a short guy, so just about everything works for me, and it works very well. So, I'm not gonna go all the way to the very, very back of this tent, because you wouldn't stick your head, you wouldn't cram your head in the very back. So, six feet, five inches is just about right. At six feet, five inches, you could definitely fit in this. You couldn't stretch out, but you can definitely fit in this comfortably. Without a doubt, this is a two-person tent, and I will go ahead and give you the measurements. Okay. So right at four and a half feet wide, this is definitely a two-person tent. You can, you know, two medium-sized to large-sized individuals could fit in this just fine. It would definitely be tight with all of your gear if you were 
carrying a backpack or something like that. But that's the good thing about a pop-up tent. With a pop-up tent like this, this is fantastic for car camping. So you don't really have to worry about having gear inside of it. Pop-up tents are fantastic for car camping. They're definitely one of my favorite tents to use. And honestly, I haven't seen a pop-up tent in a number of years. So when Front Runner asked me if I'd like to check this thing out, I was like, oh my gosh, heck yeah. Because I love pop-up tents. When I go car camping, I really dislike having to spend a ton of time you know, inserting 50 different poles to set up this gigantic tent. So, I mean, with a pop-up tent, it could not be any easier. And I really like that. The fly sheet is a 190T polyester with a PU coating. The floor is a 210 Oxford material. And the poles are made of fiberglass. Now, when it comes to weight, you're looking at seven and a half pounds. And because of the awkward size, you would definitely not carry this backpacking. With my experiences so far, I have used this for one overnight adventure and it absolutely poured the rain that night. Burr. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh man. It started raining around midnight. By the time I woke up around 6 a.m., 7 a.m., it had already rained about an inch and a half. And so in that short period of time, that's a good amount of rain. And I was 100% dry. One thing that really impressed me with this tent was how breathable it was. Because of the ventilation, everything really is working in your favor to eliminate the moisture. I was expecting to have wet walls and that was not the case. So, I mean, Honestly, I was very, very impressed. I was blown away by how dry everything was. Now, with this being a pop-up tent, and because of this design, there is one flaw. <laughs> Hawk just flew by. Anyway, and that is the door right here. Now, if it's raining out, you have to open this to get out. So what happens? Rain and the moisture falls in. Also, any of the moisture that is on the door will also fall in. Now, that is just a small issue with this tent, and that's an issue that most pop-up tents have. Also, that is an issue with a lot of backpacking tents as well. So it's not unique to this one by any means, but it, it does need to be mentioned. If you're going to take this out for an overnight trip, I would bring along some sort of towel with you. There are some very light options out there, but of course, if you're car camping, it really doesn't matter about weight, does it? So make sure that you have a towel so that if it's raining, you can just clean everything up. Now, when it comes to drying this tent after a heavy rain, it really couldn't be any easier and it dries quickly from my experiences. It's really nice just to be able to pop it open, let it dry, fold it back up and go. So now that we've gone over the tent, we've taken a look at it, I wanna ask you, what do you think this tent costs? What is the price? What would you pay for a good pop-up tent? Now on the Front Runner website, this tent retails for $160. I noticed right before I did the video, they had it on sale for $135. And guys, that is fantastic. For a tent that you just open up and it's ready to go, gosh, that is so freaking awesome. Also, when it comes time to break it down, it's very, very simple. You don't have to, you know, take out all the poles and then fold them back up and so on and so forth. It really does make things nice and easy. Now, speaking of folding it up, when it comes to pop-up tents like this, there's an element of awkwardness that comes with it because you're gonna do things that feel unnatural to get it back to this size right here. Things are gonna have to be folded over. And a lot of people will find this very, very uncomfortable. I have read online of people having issues having troubles with folding this back up. For me, it took 30 seconds to figure it out, but I've done this about a million times over the years. So with that being said, let's go ahead and break it down. I'll show you how it's done. Now, one thing that I wanna mention is this. This is a very durable tent. And even with that being the case, as a personal preference, I still use a ground sheet to protect the bottom. You may not want to, the decision is yours. I do that with all of my tents. So there you go. All right, guys, it's time to fold this thing up. Like I said, it's very, very simple, but it will seem awkward to some. You're gonna grab the front, and you're gonna walk this over to the backside, and you're gonna fold it down. So now, 
you have all four poles in your hand, okay? So, you're gonna take the tent and you're going to stand it up just like this, okay? Now you're gonna grab the bottom and you're gonna fold that down and under, okay? As you can see here, you are left with two poles in this hand, two poles in that hand. You're gonna fold one down, then you're gonna fold the other two on top of it. And there you go. It really could not be any easier. One more tip when it comes to folding up this tent. If you get to the point where you feel like something's gonna break, don't push it any further because this process will feel awkward, but you're not gonna be putting any major tension on these poles. So if you feel that there's a, a lot of tension there, something is wrong. So guys, for our look at the front runner flip pop tent, that's pretty much it. $166 on their website, or if you can get it for the sale that's going on right now, 130 bucks. Guys, I'm definitely impressed. I'll continue to test this out and we'll update the review in the future. If anyone has a question for me, you know what to do. Drop it down in my web zone. I will see you guys around. Strength and honor, take care.